hi <laughs> it's been a while um so for those of you commenting like where is the gears 3 video and stuff here's why it's been a while so i was posting those in january well in january i got cast in a show called dragons love tacos and immediately after i got cast in shrek the musical so that took up most of my time, but I have several other jobs because I'm an actress, including being an SP, a standardized patient, um, a brand ambassador for wine companies, and streaming, and doing voiceover, and editing videos. I know none of my videos are edited on YouTube, but I do do that sometimes. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, um... Anytime free time I had, I wanted to sleep. And now it's, I have some free time, but yet again, I'm having surgery next month that has a two week recovery um, for endometriosis, it's a laparoscopy to hopefully cut out as much as possible. It won't cure it, it just is a temporary relief thing. Um, so I've been dealing with that as well, um, but I've been working other jobs as well now as a dance teacher, a theater teacher and a server and auditioning for shows and other things because bills need to be paid um but i'm excited to finally get back to this um i did reread the synopsis synopses synopsi on wikipedia just to refresh and i realized a couple things so like i didn't catch on to the emulsion thing the like liquid that was going on and I know there was a civil war between the locusts but I didn't understand that half of them were the ones exposed to this liquid I, I didn't get that and I also didn't I knew there was like <clears throat> Marcus's dad Phoenix's dad was killed he's alive because the voiceover at the end of Gears 2 um I realized oh so the house they visited at the end of Gears 1 was where his he tried to save his dad and that that's why he was in prison was because he broke protocol trying to save his dad. So now I'm all caught up and I, I understand everything now. <laughs> um, so with that in mind, let's get into it. Shout out to this YouTube channel. They have like so many cinematic cuts of video games. It's... Is this a female character? Do we get a female character? So this is how it ends. Okay, it's her. I Okay, but yes! She has a gun! Today... Coalition of ordered governments ceased to exist. What? Chairman Prescott, he abandoned us some time ago. We can't pretend we're a government any longer. It all began on E Day when the locust emerged and overran us. We tried to stop them with the hammer of dawn, incinerating our own cities, killing millions <coughs> of our own people. But the locust kept coming. The survivors from the hammer strikes, the stranded, didn't want anything to do with a government that sacrificed civilians. And after 15 years of fighting, we even had to sacrifice the last human stronghold, Jacinto. I remember that, but... We sank the city and finally stopped... Because then there was a voiceover saying, like, don't do that. <laughs> was finally over. Reduced to refugees, we found a remote island where we could start again. Subtitles. But some things could never be rebuilt. Mm -hmm. The broken hearts. A broken mind. Then a new enemy came after us, even worse than the last, the Lambda. Now they're spreading across Sarah, killing everything in their path. We've held them off as long as we can. We're out of options. My prediction they're teaming up with the locusts that aren't affected. The island and split up. Some of us are going to live on the remaining ships. Others want to risk going back to the mainland. Godspeed, Colonel. This is the former Lieutenant Anya Stroud, signing off. Now hear this. All hands prepare for leaving harbor. I guess we're all stranded now. 
Okay, why does she need to do that though? From like a practical standpoint, you know. <clears throat> Is this a flashback? No, because she wasn't. What are you doing here? Maybe. You out. Here, put this on. Maybe it's like a dream. You could get into a lot of trouble for doing this. Not anymore. Things have changed. <gasps> oh. My father. But he's gone, Anya. He's dead. No, he's out there. He needs you. <laughs> Anya, wait. What the hell's going on? Anya. I don't know. The locust had broken through to his house and he called in to sleep. Okay, this has to be a flashback, but then why was he in Oh it's a dream, it's a dream, it's a dream. He looks like my 10th grade English teacher. <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's a serious scene, but it's like, hello? <laughs> yeah, this is hands down a dream. Okay, everybody find some cover. Spread out along the wall. Also, for those wondering why I'm not playing it, none of you would- I know I keep saying this, but- and you don't believe me, but trust me when I say none of y'all would want me to play this, because A, I would suck. I would suck so badly at this. It was always his work my father cared about. And research. B, I don't think I'd like it as much because I'd get so frustrated he with my aim. And then dying all the time. That it would lose. You know. Also, just time. Disobeyed orders to do it. <sighs> it cost us the battle. This is a really cool sequence. I'm not gonna lie. Like the time. Yeah, no. In the middle of. No, no, no. Can't do that. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. I know where to find him. This is cool. Okay, two years after. Oh. I like that it's like... There's life around you. It's not just you walking through a war zone. <laughs> Armor up. I've got crops to take care of. If we don't grow it, we don't eat it, remember? I think the radishes can cope without you for a while. Okay. Let's get this over with. Oh, Dom. Dom. Dom's my fave. Deck two, secure all hatches. <laughs> oh my god, I kicked the little um. Floating device. What the heck the is it called? Or? No, not an or. Sam and Cole just took off for supplies. You guys know what I mean. 
Maybe Baird forgot his wallet. Oh, Baird. Those stocks give me the creeps. Yeah, even when they're empty husks. I'm expecting polyps to spew out of So what are those stocks? Come on, Jace. Work to do. Stock City out there. All right, all right. Give me a second. Damn. Nearly got it that time. That candy's like 10 years old, man. You're gonna puke your guts out. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a price I'm willing to pay. Yeah, that's not even nice. like candy. That's see, gum. See. Now. <laughs> I keep thinking that's my dog barking. That is not my dog barking outside if you hear a bark. At least the old man still takes the threat seriously. Folks seem to forget how we ended up like this. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, well, not me. Those damn things are still out there, and I'll be ready for them. We've been on alert for three months straight. No. Roger that, Sovereign. Can we get a one inbound? Estimated landing in five yeah, minutes. Yeah, tell me that when you got back. one scrambling up your leg. You came between Dom and his radishes, <laughs> Lieutenant. <laughs> Better be good. Good? Probably not. A shock? Oh, yeah. look at her haircut! She's come back from the dead. Do I get a prize if I'm right? Chairman Prescott. No shit. You mean ex-Chairman Prescott? That asshole. He ran out on us 18 months ago. What's he expecting now, red carpet? I'm waiting to find out. Warship Sovereign. Hang on. This is KR-01 requesting permission to land. One passenger, Chairman Prescott. KR-01, this is Sovereign. You are clear to land. Deck team standing by. Wonder where Prescott managed to find a helicopter. He sure as hell didn't leave with one. He never called, he never sent flowers. Oh, I can't wait to hear this shit. I'll get the popcorn. Yeah, what is... I like how they have, like, nice furniture Damn, and then tear, like, are gonna do some nasty furniture. Like, they have a grand piano, just... Why not? So wait, was it a fake? Like, Chairman isn't here? Or is it just because they're in Lambent Waters? Okay, if someone told me that they didn't take any design with the locusts from the Flood in Halo, they're straight up lying. They are straight up lying. You know the Flood inspired some of the design, you, you know. Betty strolls back in here like nothing happened. Better park that nice new Raven carefully. Let's give the traditional stranded welcome. Strip the chopper for parts. So they got like blue think lights he knows that on. The cog fell apart after he disappeared. You think he cares? Chairman oh, they all Prescott. have to. Okay. Welcome to what's left of the cog. But their I armor looks you, nicer. Gentlemen, but later. I need to see Colonel Hoffman immediately. Um, Hoffman's been gone yeah. as long as you have. Chairman. He's dead? No. Nope. We left to take a group of civilians to Anvilgate. Captain Michelson's the senior officer now. Not that we have much of a military left. I love I talk to the that she's a full face a for of makeup on. Oh, and Sergeant Phoenix, you'll want to see this. Like she has eyeliner on top, eyeliner on bottom, contouring. She's got a nice, er, like, early 2000s Let's lip go going on. She has a smoky eye. Like, that would have taken minimum 30 minutes, probably around an hour to do, but she did it. Oh, God. Marcus. It's your father. 
Leave it, Jason. I'm being held prisoner by the locust. I've developed a solution for the Lambent problem. He looks just like my 10th grade English teacher. As well, but they don't <laughs> Marcus, he knows about the Lambent. And he looks older than when... Uh, than when we saw him die. I know. If he's still alive, I've got to find him. Okay, so they Any don't way know. To tell when this was recorded? There's no date code. Like, look at that contouring on her nose. That is clear contouring, friends. Sarah's dying, Marcus. The whole planet's infected. It's the emulsion that's killing it. It was always the emulsion, you see. And I can stop it. I understand it all now. I've tried to contact you over the years, but I've been helped. Damn machine. Baird's never here when you need him. Brace, 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 brace for impact! A little warning, Miss <laughs> Figure out a way to decode the rest of that disc, Marcus. We'll find him. Come on! Everybody get out there and finish these assholes! This is the chairman. Great. So did, we want coffee. Is Baird here? And then where's Cole? <laughs> me. <laughs> I mean, I can't garden to save my life, but me. <laughs> I'm like immune to the blood splatter now after playing Dragon Age where all the cutscenes my characters are covered in blood. Stand by. Michaelson's gone. Phoenix get down to the hangar. The helicopters are under attack. Like look at that nice desk. Right away. Are you wounded? Yes, but I you stay here and you don't move until we get back. Understood? I'll try not to get myself killed, Sergeant. Yeah, you do that. I'm not the conversational type. But when I get back, I want a nice long chat. You tell him. <laughs> I'll come back and give you first aid as soon as we've got the choppers away, okay? Like, look, at, I think that's a rug. Should've look at that knife. In case he does another disappearing act. He's not going anywhere without his chopper. Delta to hangar deck. KR units. Anyone down there? We've got to get those ravens in the air. Delta, this is KR-03. My bird's attacked, but my crew's down. I need a hand. Hang tight. We're on our way. Oh, shit. You hear that? Sounds like more pilots. Damn it. They're in the pipes. <laughs> to turn and burn. We'll be your new crew. They knew what they were doing. Holy shit. What the hell's that? It's a Kraken. Just kidding. I don't know what. I'm glad. The same page. Same page. But clearly it knows what it's doing, because it grabbed the copter. Come on, let's get up 
top and sink that bitch before we lose anyone else. Hey, get out of there! Those tanks are gonna blow! Oh, damn it! Well, I was gonna remark about how that guy was using a fire extinguisher as a weapon. We're gonna lose the whole ship if we don't but, get this fire under control. Grab the extinguisher. And oh, okay, look at us go. I kind of love it when you have missions like these in games where it's like, and you're gonna take a little break and you're gonna do some little domestic stuff. Like fire extinguishing. That thing can't take a hit. Is it bad if I think it's cute? Like not in like a, like it's like the grunts from Halo cute. Like, they're a little ugly, but they're definitely cute. And that thing is a little ugly, but it's cute. Everyone okay? No. <laughs> we must be in engineering. Miracle we didn't get killed. Okay, how Marcus was standing there, I'm sorry. His hips were not lying. <laughs> been able to figure out to go through that door to be honest are horribly bred. But it looks like a pug. <laughs> well, we failed that, I guess. Okay, let's get up top before that thing comes back. Marcus, while you were taking a break, huh, the blind genius had an idea. Baird? An idea? So we can give it a headache? Animals just love me. Stand by, Cole. We're gonna need a bigger cattle prop. Let's use the two silverbacks in the maintenance bed. Marcus, run! That thing's gonna flatten us! Why does rolling animation look the same in like every game? Like, roll. It kind of, I don't know. Good video game logic. Anytime something's glowing, that's what you shoot. Probably getting its second wind. It's just 
a little hungry, just looking for a little snack, you know. Ah! So is the glowiness from the liquid that infected the lamb and, and people that got rust lung? I don't know. He said he wanted to give it a headache. And Prescott's in the- Oh shit. One hour earlier. Hey Carmine, Ooh. you alright? You're awfully quiet. Someone's gotta be. We got Where's another there? girl. Oh, I could gag him if you like. <laughs> Be my trait. Ah, uh, remind me why we thought Hanover was a good place to look for supplies? Baby, you gotta trust the cold train to find the goods. This is my turf, Cougar's Territory. Yeah, cuz. I'm not gonna, gonna lie, when I was a right kid, now. I always thought it was so cool. Like, characters had band aids on their faces. Okay, seven, zero, we'll call you back I was like, wow, what an something. aesthetic. Roger that. And I try and leave the house with a band-aid on my face. My mom never let me. She's like, what, what are you doing? Take that off your face. You're wasting band-aids. <laughs> Bye. So this is home, eh, Cole? Classy. Has it changed much since you've been away? Hey, the whole damn world looks like this. Let's move out. It probably was a really nice house or Hold home or take a look over there. This isn't a home I'm or house. That used to be a, stranded outpost. a nice place. Oh, I like the Tudor style architecture. Oh, really, Doctor? Yeah, call it a woman's intuition. Told you this is gonna be a waste of time. There's gotta be more outposts around here. Let's keep looking. I'm telling you, this place is crawling with freaks. You know what stalks mean? Polyps. We haven't seen polyps for months. Relax. <laughs> oh, Ben, look. That house over there. I can see us, you and me. A couple of kids, a dog. Yeah, a great big bottle of suicide pills. Well, that'll save me poisoning your dinner. Well, yeah, you'll miss me one day. Whoa! Well, <laughs> hey, you down there. Step into the light and do it slow. Try anything dumb. <laughs> Runs. <laughs> Everybody chill. Relax, my man. Safety's on. Hey, it's the car coming to civilize us. Ah, whoopee! Yo, we all in the same boat. We just want to trade for some food. Well, we ain't got any spare food. And if we did, we wouldn't be trading it with you, cog assholes. Ooh. <laughs> I'll give you a. S <sighs> Sorry, it just seems like the audio was her, lagging. Though. Oh, bacon. Hey, take the deal, Cole. I haven't had bacon in six months. Thanks, but no thanks. Any other camps around? Some. You can try the warehouse down at the pier. Well, I hate standing. Baird. Of course you gotta get past all the glowies first, but you hairy-assed heroes can breeze through all that shit. <laughs> like, why the fuck do they have to? <laughs> Kinda anti-social, aren't they? Uh, it's pronounced assholes. Come on, we still got options. Assholes, you There's almost bought into bear, you here. fucking Let's piece see if of my shit. Ones are still good. Damn shame we ain't got Jack to rip that gate. I miss that little guy. Me too. Hey, he isn't scrapped yet, okay? 
just looking for a power supply for him. He'll be better than new before you know it. Let's just open this the Delta way. I feel like Baird would care more for ah, Jack than another fucking fellow human being. Uh, yeah, you know what? No thanks. Well, at least it's survival of the fittest and there ain't no way Baird is going to be having any descendants with his fucking attitude, so. Sorry, Baird. Survival of the fittest. Don't clean up your act. Mm. R-E-S-P-E-C-T goes both ways, my dude. You know, maybe I've been too harsh on the polyps. I kind of prefer them to these new glowies. And that goes for you too, men. You deserve a woman or a partner, whatever you prefer, that respects you as well. Keep it moving. Yo, the store should be just up ahead. Let's cut through here. Let's get inside the store before more glowies show up. I love that they just call them glowies. Because that's so honest. Like, what is that? Oh, this glow in it. It's a glowy. Yeah, that sounds right. Sure. Is that... Oh. Huh. You ever feel like you're dead but nobody told you? Oof. Okay. Oof. Let's see what they got on special this week. Righto. Where's the coffee? Where's the bacon? You weren't gonna get it. Mm -mm. Come on, let's work our way to the back. Look for anything useful. Okay, Baird, now we've got polyps. Happy? Yeah, ecstatic. See, I think what pisses me off is that none of the other guys called out there. Like, bruh. Bro, what the fuck? She's a comrade. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Something. 
See, I feel like if it wasn't glowing, I would have no idea to kick that down if I played. <laughs> A care package, perfectly presented and ready for departure. You got it. Come on, let's get this stuff outside. Can you take us with you? Cole, the Lambin are overrunning Hanover. You want to call it a day? We still got to go check out the warehouse and, you know, the stadium. Oh, of course, the stadium. You're not making a pilgrimage or anything, are you? Hey, just being thorough. Well, that doesn't look safe. <sighs> Come on, let's just get through here fast as we can. Something's gonna happen. Jeez Louise, what the fuck? Hey, check fire. We're on your side. <laughs> Sorry. Well, there's a surprise. The armored wonders turning out to save us. <laughs> it's Shepard! Gratitude? Just to break up the oh my gosh, it's, it's her voice actress. Don't mind him. Someone stole his tail when he was little. Is everyone okay? Yeah, thanks for the help. We owe you. Hey, you're him, aren't you? You're Augustus Cole. Cole Train! What brings you back here? Hey, surprise you remember me, baby. Just passing Hi. through, looking for food. If you got any to trade, the Cole Train is sure appreciate that. <laughs> All right, come on in. We haven't got any food to spare, but we might have something else you need. I meant supplies. Why the fuck? Good thing I wear a helmet. Why is that necessary in these games? This way, folks. Hey, we're heading for the stadium. Anything we should know? Well, it ain't empty. Coltrane, I'll be damned. I kind of guessed <laughs> as much. Coltrane, I'll be damned. Let's just say the boss over there ain't a cog fan. You might just want to take a detour around her. Well, where there's people, there's supply. Hey, you're the coal train. Maybe you'll be able to work with me. <laughs> you're Hanover coal still train. <laughs> the southern accent. Funny how there's a lot more lambing around as soon as the cog shows up. Must be their fan club. You know who the big guy is, don't you? So, what have you got for us then? Shampoo, conditioner, gag for my friend here? <laughs> no, just ammo. It's out in the back. Now that's my kind of groceries. Wow, is it really you, Coltrane? Hey there, how you doing? Oh, I wonder if they got a bucket I can throw up in. There you go. All it's missing is a bow. Michelson's gonna be well pleased with this. Nice one, Cole. That's real generous of you, ma'am. We appreciate it. KR-70, roger that. Uh, heads up, guys. There's some joker on Centennial Bridge taking pot shots from a gun turret. We're giving it a wide berth. Suggest you watch your six as well. Oh, trust me. I'm on permanent guard around these assholes. Bared out. Because you're definitely not the biggest asshole of all.
It looks like we're gonna have to cut through here. Hey, look, he's still the hero. Yeah, the bums didn't even melt down his statue for scrap. Now that's respect. That's gotta be weird. Cold train? Shit, it is you! Wow, Cole, what are you doing back here? Trying to get some food. Hey, you look just like I remember. Hey, you finally coming back home or something? Hey, can't keep it away forever, baby. Just checking everything's the way I left it, more or less. Don't have a beer with us. Brew some good stuff. <laughs> Thanks, but I'll pass. Still on duty. We're looking for supplies, though. Anything you want to trade? Was this made? What's that Take game where you're launched up into the air and you're like in a society that's like, um, celebrates like the founding fathers and stuff? Because I wonder if it, this was made in the same engine as that same dev program thing, you know. Gotta be. Yeah, you're right about the smells lingering forever. <sighs> what a smart ass. Like, shut the fuck up, Baird. Gotta pet the cat. Oh. Mm. Ah, it's gotta be hard to be back, you know. It probably feels like he's living a com like it's not the same life. Like, it's almost, like, unreal that this happened in his lifetime. He was this. Maybe he needed that to kind of remind him of who, you know, like, what, where he's come from, the lessons he's learned. I don't know. It just... They better not fucking kill him right now. 
They better not just like one off him. Well, cause also no, cause he they won't they won't because one hour before. I mean, he's still alive, but like, hold, oh, that was kind of stupid. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, but he's still alive because he took you the helicopter, right? Yeah, okay. Ah, the train still got the moves, baby. Now, that was a move I first used against the Eagles in the national final. Of course, <laughs> them bitches didn't explode. Yeah, you still got it. Now let's go sweet talk the queen of the bums. Hmm. Sovereign to all KR units on ship. We are under heavy Lambent attack. The ship has been boarded and we require support. I say again, we are under attack and require immediate assistance. Uh, damn it. Well, that changes our dinner plans. Call to KR-70. Time to get us back to the ship. KR-70 here. That's a negative call. Got some serious Lambent shit on board Sovereign. Stand by. Roger that. Okay. Let's see if the boss lady can get us back to the ship some other way. Oh well, nice while it lasted. Oh shit! Hey, this is all your fault. Those things left us alone until the cock showed up. Ma'am, our ship is in trouble and we're trying to get back fast. You got any transport we can borrow? Oh, <laughs> I was going to say. Look, Cog, you're on your own. Get out where you can. Come on, come on, move it! Get downstairs and open the rear gate. We've got people to evacuate. Barrett, we got to reach the bridge. Sovereign's going to pass underneath. <sighs> all right, all right. Uh, yeah, maybe take over those gun turrets or just repel down when the ship's below us. Ma'am, is the cable car to the bridge still working? Yeah, but here's some free advice. Forget the bridge. They're stranded over there that you really don't want to mess with. Yeah, we'll take our chances. <laughs> We're gonna mess with them. Don't worry, ma'am. Fine, get yourself killed. No skin off my back. Hey, Cole, they seem to know a way out. So do I. This way. <laughs> Blows a hole in the wall. Runs straight through. Is he oh no, he's gonna go through so okay, because yeah, he knows this place. Okay, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, is he actually gonna do that? Well shit. Uh anyone afraid of heights? Hey, yep, not anymore. Love heights. Love them. Oh, I got a awesome sneeze coming. Come on! The line still reaches the bridge! Yeah, that's our stop, so let's do this! <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> that's so unsafe. But you know, like, oh, to have the arm strength to do that. Oh my gosh. Because not only do you have the force of your body hanging, like, you're dead weight, essentially. You have all that armor, and then you're having to deal with the physics of moving. Ooh, it's a lot for your muscles. Hi friends, if you wrong. identify with Baird, um, you may want to reevaluate your life choices. I mean, that comment, I'm not gonna lie, was actually 
that was okay. But I'm just so... <laughs> I'm at the point where anything he says, I'm like, oh my gosh, Bear, shut up. Which is not fair to him. We need to get to the center of this bridge. Yeah, but we have to get past that first. But it's not fair how he dehumanizes. My unique charisma should do the trick. Uh, Fuck you. Yeah, I'll have to lend you some of mine. Um, how he dehumanizes his comrades. And how they all deem... Okay, here's here's a little, little... Why that bothered me, those two moments, is that it reduces... And I'll make these general terms, but just know it is, in this case, a male to female dynamic, which is common in a patriarchal... Yeah, anyways. Because I feel like some of you are going to comment, like, oh, it's a war, it's post-apocalyptic, like, yeah, um, that's just how it is, like, in the military, that's just how it is, locker room talk. That should not be the case. That is unacceptable. I don't give a shit time or place, because what you are doing is you are dehumanizing another person on the basis of you view them as for the pleasure they can provide you. You are dehumanizing another human being and just looking at them for their tactical and pragmatic uh, like use for yourself. That is so fucking selfish. Like, how would you like someone to just screw you over? And I know a lot of women take it and like, how would you like it if someone said something about like, you in a sexual manner and guys are like, oh, I'd love it to be complimented. So I will put it in this way. How, like, say you code or do something like that. How would you like it if someone just came to you and expected you to code something or provide a service for free? Like, no. No, it's it's got to be consensual. Like, there's A, got to be an agreement. Like, it's just like... But also, like, they don't even view you as... It's not like, hey, Mark, or hey, Josh, or whatever. Like, hey, can you code? It's just like, code! And it's like, I'm more than my code. I'm a human being. I have values. I have a personality. I have opinions. And, like... And it's ideas and mentalities like this that make it on topic with the Amber Heard, Johnny Depp, which that's a whole different thing. But why men in domestic violence situations, in rape situations, in a lot, are never believed. Not never, that's a strong, but are typically not believed. And that is horrible because these stigmas that, oh, well, men just like sex. So, like, it's okay to put this animation in the scene because that's just, that's just how men act. Like, you are being dehumanized as well, which is, like, how that's, it's just offensive to everyone. It reduces us to animalistic, and I know biologically we're animal, but in, inhuman, unintelligent, following our primal instincts without upper intelligence, I don't know what the term is but like without morals without societal structures without empathy and that's just that's so no i know sometimes guys this is very generalizing i'm so sorry but in my experience a lot of guys cannot empathize when women bring up like oh how would you like it because i agree fully that men are often not complimented enough how women are and their self-esteems are hurt by it i think we should gas men up more but in the same sense because they don't often they are love starved touch starved and stuff so they don't understand what it does to women and so it is kind of a triggering thing um Especially, like, when you, from a day-to-day -day standpoint, it's, like, every woman I know just gets dick pics in their inbox for no fucking reason. It's, like, I didn't consent to that. I did not consent to see... That is, A, it's technically illegal. Um, but that's sexual harassment. Because there's not consent there. It just gets down to cons... It just boils down to consent and... 
caring for your fellow human being and seeing that the value in them because they are a fellow human being. And I don't think that's too much to ask for anyone. I would hope you guys would be treated with respect and that your interactions in all regards are consensual and that you are treated with respect as a human being. So that's, I'm asking the same as a fellow human being. Anyways, long tangent. I hope you understood. Sorry. Just wanted to put that out there before people started commenting things without y'all fully hearing my viewpoint on that and why it just, and why Baird bugs me. <laughs> He's also what my mom calls a popper offer, which they just, and some of you are like, oh, will you react and stuff. I try to add my opinions and stuff. Popper offers just like to hear themselves for the sake of hearing their own voice and their own opinion. I'm not talking the entire way through this video and I get that he's not, but I don't, unless I have like something like a genuine reaction or something I feel that needs to be said or added, because it's like, wow, that was in like, I'm not going to just speak for the sake of speaking. And I feel like he's like, just like, hey, <laughs> like attention whore. And I'm like, okay. We all know that kid in high school that was like, okay, like Melissa, like Melissa, chill, like read the room, Melissa. You know, you know what I mean. Which again goes back to consent of reading the room and what everyone, you know, just those innate social things, constructs. And it's better to ask, like, hey, is it. than to just fucking clobber over people without consent in social interactions. But that's a different. Hold on a moment. Hello? We love spam calls. So much more diplomacy. Yeah, what else do you expect from these stranded shits? Let's get this over with. Hey, those aren't stranded. They're locusts. Oh, great. Look who's back in town. Well, we did flood them out the tunnels. Hello, he's like, I'm back. Hey, they got a well, Bear did something good. Yay. He revived us. Hey, I like what they've done with the place. The informal squalid look. It's grubs we're talking about here, Bear. Squalid's normal. No, when they were underground, they were organized. This looks like they've gone feral or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I so, love the word feral so okay. much. Does that make them easier to fight or not? <laughs> uh, I love the connotation with it. Like, I'll, okay. A dog described as being feral. Not good. When people are like, man, she's feral. <laughs> <laughs> it's like think, I don't know, I think way. it's really funny it. that ship's gonna be when things the other than animals break. are described as feral. Oh come on, you're a glass half empty man, aren't you? Yeah, buy me a beer and I'll show you. Oh, she won't buy you anything. Your name's not Dom. Shut your hole. Bit. Oh. Come on, in here. Oh. Oh? Oh? Dom is our king. Dom is made of king material. Just gonna put that out there. Okay, lower deck or the catwalk? Sam, let's take the catwalk. Barrett, you and Carmine take the lower deck. That's the only catwalk Sam's ever I'm gonna have be a, on. Oh, uh, mimosa. This is over bad. After I'm gonna this, raise your not voice going active. 
Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Like this sometimes. That was kind of cool how he just like into the air. I'm not gonna lie, I like that. It was a little fun. But he cute. Oh, can you see this shit? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. It's literally the lines. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. We need to blow his brains out his ass. We'll get Baird to come up with an idea. No problem. I've killed blowing Leviathans before, remember? At Vector's stockyard. Saved your asses. <laughs> you killed one. A baby. And you wrecked the harbor doing it. That one's twice the size. Yeah, girl, so you tell him. Now get to death? Wait a minute. You actually could. Look, ladies, one way or another, we gotta help Sovereign. Or she's screwed, and so are we. I mean... Oh, I agree with him. I'm not gonna lie. I got a plan B, because now will be a good time. Okay, the grubs must have plenty of ordnance here. You find it, I'll make it go bang. Real detail, Baird. But I've been in situations, not like obviously, but it's like, I, I don't know. Just make it happen. Welcome to your job. You thought we were organized? No. Hey, what the fuck is that? A floating locust barge? What? Like, it took me a second to register. That hot air balloon locust thing, like, the balloon part is alive! The noises it's making are cute. Why do I think, like, every locust is cute all of a sudden? I got problems, y'all. Someday, if I ever become rich and famous, I'm gonna become the person that adopts the ugliest animals in the animal shelter that do not do not get love that have been there for years because i think they're adorable but i'm not going to adopt them all because i think i don't have enough like time and energy to give them all adequate enough love so i would sponsor the shit out of them to get them a home where they could get an adequate and acceptable amount of love even more so let me just put that up there because they deserve to be spoiled. That's why they- okay. Okay. Okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. Why they did this. And then it destroyed the boat accidentally, but like, what else were they gonna do? Bear, you better start drinking some respect women juice.
because you almost tossed her ass out for bacon. And she just risked her life to save yours. Everybody could learn a lesson from Dom. We can't- We stand Dom! <laughs> Our king! <sighs> uh.